Well, I shouldn't have been so cocksure about assembling the chassis today because having gone through my little drawer of fasteners, I note I've only got a couple of machine screws in 3BA and I need probably a couple of dozen and I need them to be bolts and with nuts. So I'm gonna go and order those. Uh, but for this video, let's go over to the lathe and do some single point thread cutting on that bogey pin we've been talking about. I put a chamfer on this end using a little grooving tool like this, and I cut a gutter for the threads here using uh, the cutoff tool, which is uh, just out of shot here. Uh, I've currently got a 60 degree HSS tool bit in there. I do have carbide, but I thought, hey, we're going retro, let's keep it HSS. I now need to set up the gears on that end. What we're doing is we're making it so that this lead screw, which has eight teeth per inch, so eight rotations, moves the carriage one inch that way by default. We're gonna try and change that so that 26 rotations of this, which would be the number of teeth we want, rotates this one inch. So 26 to eight will give us 26 teeth per inch of movement. And that's how we're gonna work that one out. This is the gear setup for cutting 26 teeth per inch. This is 20, this is just an idler gear and this is 65 on the lead screw. looks 
pretty good to me. I think what's a bit confusing for me is that, uh, of course, this compound slide is at a 30 degree angle, so I don't need to go in just by um, 38.5 thou. I need to go in by 44 and a half thou to get the same distance in, the same pitch. So uh, this should be the last pass, if I am correct. Well, that's nice.